Welcome to Specify. This video will demonstrate how to include a text or number field in a data set mapping, then rename the text field in both the workbench and within Specify itself. Text fields exist because Specify supports all disciplines, but each discipline and even individual collections have unique cataloging needs. It would be impractical to try to include all fields required by all disciplines and all collections in each table in Specify, so Specify includes generic number, text, yes, no, and other fields in most tables, and then offers tools in both the Workbench and Specify to rename these fields and customize Specify for your individual needs. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start this video where the new dataset mapping video left off, so you probably recognize the mapping editor and the fields that have already been mapped. If you're not familiar with a dataset mapping and what that is, then you should probably not watch this video and go ahead and watch the new dataset mapping video first. One of the best examples of text and number fields is in the collection object attribute table. As you scroll down, you can see that there are various number, text, and even yes, no fields included. That is because this table is used to describe specimens, and obviously each discipline would have different requirements for describing their specimens. I, at this time, require nine text fields so I'm going to go ahead and click on that top text one field and then hold down my shift key and click on text nine and uh, the control key would work as well here and then I'm going to click on the add new column button and add those. If the add new column button is not enabled then you need to actually click on the new down here on the right first before adding your fields. I cannot rename my fields here in the editor, so I'm going to go ahead and say OK now that I've added those text fields. And that will require me to name my data set. So I'm going to name this whoops, example data set. There's also a remarks field that is can be handy when there are more than one editors for data sets. You can leave little remarks or reminders for other editors. And I'm going to say OK then. And that will save my data set. Many of the text fields that are in the collection object attribute table are already being used on forms in Specify. So we want to find out what text fields are already renamed within Specify for this particular discipline, and then rename any additional fields in Specify that we might require as well. This is accomplished in the Schema Configuration tool, which is found in the System menu. The third down, I'll click on Schema Configuration. And then we want to open it in English. And we want to edit a schema, so we're going to click on the Edit a Schema button. When the Schema Configuration tool opens, you can see on the top left that there is a list of the tables found in Specify. Then to get the fields, we need to click on one of those tables, which for us is the Collection Object Attribute table. And a list of fields found in that table is found under Fields, which is under the Table section. So I will find the Text 1 field and click on it. And over on the right, still in the Fields section of this tool, is a Caption field. And that is the name of this field that is found on the forms within Specify. So this is where you would rename the field if you needed to, but obviously this field has already been renamed, so what I'm going to do is make a note that text one is the sex field. And then I can go down and click on each of these individual text fields 
and again make a note of what each of them is renamed so that I will rename that these text fields to the exact same thing in my data set because I obviously want the data to be put into this field to keep these need to mirror each other and as I go down all of these fields are the ones I require oh but when I get to text 9 it has not been renamed and as I see from my notes head size has not been used yet within specify so I'm going to rename text 9 to head size I simply click and drag to highlight that name and then type in my new name or caption and that is all that is required of me in the schema configuration tool at this time so I'm going to click OK and that change will be saved. Now I need to go in and change that field within the workbench so I come down to my tab bar and click on my data set and it is still open that's a handy tool and I rename this using the form editor and right now we are in the grid editor so I'm going to come down to the bottom right and click on the form editor button and open this data set as a form then I'm going to find my text one field and simply double click it and the properties editor pops up and I under label that is obviously the name of my field so I'm going to highlight that and then I am going to type in exactly what it is named within specify and click OK and I can do this for each of these text fields just go right on down and rename them and it is that simple and easy and that also concludes this video on using a text or number field in a data set mapping. Thank you for watching.